Yes, there's a, um, quite a few questions actually, and I'll probably come out afterwards and have a chat with you. But one, one of the questions would be um, is direction of the rivet. So, can you go from both ends? So, it, so as, as the application is at the moment, we see it coming from the top, but with our applications, maybe we need to come from underneath. Um, is that something that can be done and looked into at the moment or not at the moment? Sure, absolutely. I, the, the rivet's designed to match the contour of the, uh, the electrode itself. Yeah. So once you remove that rivet from the, the feed system, it's fully captured you know, throughout that whole process. So the orientation is not important. You have enough force and a nice fl the controlled flat bottom on it that you can hold it in any orientation. And then from a, a corrosion point of view, um, obviously when um, doing mixed metal, we've got a problem with uh, galvanic corrosion. Um, would be welded potentially through some adhesives then, so is that something that you've actually done? I would say that the majority, a strong majority, maybe 75-80% of the validation we're doing so far is with adhesive, an adhesive layer in there, uh, just from the customer uh, standpoint, that's what they're going with. And we've had very good success with that. It, it's, have, have seen no limitations whatsoever with adhesive in the joint, still performs very well. We actually have some specialized designs, uh, had to uh, kind of adapt the design to adhesive, but we've done that. Uh, we found that while making that weld and the, you know, the temperature that it generated, you had a lot of outgassing from the adhesive, and so we had to uh, add some vents to the fastener to allow those gases to escape, or you would expel a lot of times the aluminum of the top sheet. So uh, yeah, it, we have a lot of success with adhesive in the joint. And, from a corrosion standpoint, uh, the aluminum fastener, we zinc plate or, or can zinc plate and, and do other coatings as well. We do zinc plating on it for not only shelf life, but it helps when you're self-piloting it through that uh, aluminum top sheet, it acts as sort of a lubricant or shield to get it through there, and uh, but also provides some protection in the joint. But for the most part, uh, the customers that we're working with are gonna be doing some sort of e-code process on top of the, the weld anyway, like they would um, with a, a body wide or a closure or something of that sort, uh, which is where we see the majority of these being used. So that E code is is, is going to you know mop up everything and, and provide a good seal. And we've done a lot of salt spray testing and salt fog testing to show that um, the improvements that zinc plating the fastener does, as well as uh, the, the E code. So, yeah. And then uh, one one final point is.